Get somebody that does that shit to you. That's a keeper right there for you talking about. <laughs> you can't eat Popeye's biscuit without no honey. That's Boy, so true. Thick ass biscuits. You want one? No, okay. I had my biscuit about an hour ago. It was good too. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Wow. Alright, we're not even talking about the reaction. Let's get it. Stop, though. <laughs> Scary things caught on camera. Scary people. Unwelcome guests. Matthew says that he and his friends were exploring an allegedly haunted house in Layton, Utah. The house has a dark history and is known locally as, quote, Satan's house. Wow. The guys don't find any spirits, but they do discover something maybe. I don't care what you find, but it's like you're in Satan's house. Like, you have no business being there or around there. Okay? And because that's Satan's house, you should be way more than six miles out. You should be six miles out, times six miles out, times six miles out, times six miles out, times six miles out. Add that up, and that's how many miles you you should be out. And then some. We're terrifying. I better not spill none of this popcorn. It smells like something that got scary. Oh, oh yeah, let's not look up. Oh, gee, guys, look. Fresh food. Oh, God! What's that? Why is this here, though? Oh, dude, are these lights? No, 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 no. It's a setup. No. What's that? Right? And dark as hell. No, let's not vandalize. I'm falling in. I don't have a light on my camera, so somebody give me a light. Okay. Oh, God! Oh, hello. <laughs> Y'all can't see it, but I'm doing this shit right now. I'm doing this. Y'all can't. I was doing that with my feet. Where the hell he come from? You saw that? I knew it was a setup. Hi. No, oh, hi. That's awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's awkward. What? That's awkward. <laughs> no, that's awkward. Oh, I'm getting plucked in the ass. That's awkward. A tall man armed with what looks like an iron rod chases them out of the house, swinging the metal bar around and screaming like a madman. Somebody give me a light. Oh, hello there. Hi. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's awkward. You really said hello, like hi, like he was gonna say something back. That's awkward. Matthew says that after posting the video. <laughs> so I know they're getting, you're about to get clucked. So like that, that that long metal pipe, I feel like was about to right in the jump. You feel me? So when he when he said and exactly like this, oh, that's awkward. I, it kind of sounded like it was already in there. Yeah, no lubricant, no Vaseline, no baby oil, you're just straight. You just going right into it. Just blood everywhere. That's disgusting. <laughs> was contacted by the property owner. The owner said that he had no idea who the man was or why he was there. Something. On a ring. YouTube user Sean Tharp says that he got a frantic call from his girlfriend one night after a bizarre encounter. As she was leaving for work at 2 a.m. Wow. This happened. Nothing. Oh, this music pumping. Hey. Hey. 
Sean's girlfriend says that she saw a man charging towards her car from out of the darkness. Wow. Even though it was well below freezing on this December night, the man wore no coat or warm clothing of any kind. Or nothing at all. In fact, he was dressed only in jeans and a tank top. Now, Sean seems to think that the man could have been a ghost since the figure seems to be semi-transparent and disappears into the dark. But I'm more inclined to say that this was just some wacko out at 2 a.m. and up to no good. How can you say that when you look, you like you can clearly look through that motherfucker. Like he looks like it looks like a spirit. It looks like a ghost. Like I can see right through this motherfucker. That's crazy. Where is that at? So I don't I don't want to move wherever she's at. So so yeah, that that's that's done. And she didn't feel nothing. No red flag senses was, was, was shot, no? No uh, sus signals was shot, no, no, nothing. It was just a regular night, huh, 2 a.m. That, you know, the paranormal stuff usually happens uh, between 2, 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. So, yeah, that's a, that's a clock zone, that's a clock time. Jesus, oh my God, and you didn't feel nothing, God damn. The man's blurred appearance on camera is probably just caused by bad lighting no. and video compression. No. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? I just said what I thought it would become. I just thought There's someone that. down there. My YouTube hey. channel All Around Lifestyle is a Polish urban exploration channel where a guy named Mike and his friends explore various abandoned buildings around Poland. In this video, they're exploring an abandoned parking garage. When one of them sees something. <laughs> oh, God. That bitch is smiling and shit. swears he saw something moving in the darkness but no one believes him they head back down to investigate no 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 if i was with you bruh if i was with you how about they be speaking i'm not doing no dumb shit like that but if i was with you how about they be speaking and you come to me and say i think i saw somebody down there or i think i saw somebody move well bitch let's get the hell out of here i don't want to go down to the to where he was at or where that thing was at that's you're acting to get clucked with inside and out on, in all holes. But you got you got the ear, you got the mouth, you got the you got the butt. You got the nose. The, yeah, the two nostrils, and then you can get more in there if you flare your nose. I'm on some <clears throat> right. Um, what else? I think that's. <clears throat> yeah, I can't really think of no, no other holes. Yeah, no. Oh, dumbasses. It's like they, they get a grill out of this shit, like they get a rattle out of this. Should we kill the lights? Leave. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you really gonna follow the arrows? Okay, all right. Don't run now. No. You asked for that. Your mother. It seems that someone was living in the abandoned building. And they weren't very happy to have visitors. I wouldn't be either. Oh, God. God damn. <laughs> now, this wasn't the first time Mike had met up with unfriendly squatters in an abandoned building. Someone in there. 
Можно туда набрать? Ну, сколько, сколько? Shortly after these two videos, Mike just quit YouTube for good. No. He hasn't posted a new video Damn. in three and a half years. Perhaps Mike decided that urban exploration might be just a bit too dangerous, since you never know who could be lurking in those dark, abandoned buildings. Camera shy. Late one night after Jeff Davis had put his kids to bed, he says that he got an odd notification on his ring doorbell that someone was at the door. When he checked the video, this. I think I've seen this. Yep, I've seen this one. Wow. That's why it's important. Someone wearing a weird skull mask walks up and tapes over his doorbell camera. Jeff says that he wasn't sure what the intentions of the mask wearing weirdo might be, as he seems to disappear right after covering the camera. So was the mask camera taper up to no good? Or yes. was it just a prank? My ass. I'm not. You decide. I'm not taking that chance. Cellar dweller. What? Over on the German Urban Exploration Channel, Unknown Worlds, the guys regularly search for and explore completely abandoned remote locations. On this particular occasion, they take a 15-minute walk through the woods to find an old abandoned building that they just randomly found on Google Maps. What? It didn't go well. What? What? As they head down into the house's creepy basement, they begin to smell a foul stench. That's your sign right there. That's your sign right there. Like, it's a nasty ass smell. That's a red flag right there. So go ahead and back up. And as they venture further into the cellar, it seems that someone might have made the place their home. You're not even running. Now one of the two explorers just kind of runs off and leaves his friend behind. I would. He makes it out and phones police. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> No, let him figure that out. But meanwhile, back inside the house, his friend has managed to push the attacker down and run away. Oh. But he's now hiding in the dark, trying desperately to find a route of escape. His camera is still running. Mmm. to make it out unharmed. Now, to me, this video seems just a little too good, if you know what I mean. However, the Unknown Worlds guys still claim that the video is 100% real to this day. They say that the police came, but the man hiding in the house was long gone and couldn't be found. So is this real dramatic footage of an encounter with a very scary person? Yup. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can see more of Unknown World's videos over on their channel, and if you're willing to do a little extra clicking, many have English subtitles already added. Not a scary person, oh. but still scared. Oh, not. Now, I wanted to include this clip because it's good, but there's technically not a scary person in it. But then again, that's all in the eye of the mm -hmm. beholder. A bus driver has just finished his late night route and is heading home. But because of the large size of the bus and the dark interior, he doesn't notice that there are still two passengers on board. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> he dead ass thought he was the only one on the bus. <laughs> he got, I would get scared too. Like, where the hell did y'all come from? Like, were y'all hiding in the seats? Like, what the hell was going on around here? And she's old. You already know how I feel about old people. 60 and up, you already sus. Like, that's all I'm saying. Just saying. You know, so if I was a bus driver... I'm not letting nobody 16 up getting on a bus. And some for some reason you already on the bus and you 16 up. Well, you're gonna have to just get out at the next stop. Or I might just pull over on the side of the road and just I c I can't do it. Like there's too many old sus motherfuckers. So and I really don't know where I got the, the number 60 from, but that's crazy. Like, where the hell did they come from? They scared the living shit out of him. Talking about, oh, oh, God. he about to crash and kill everybody in that bus, including himself. Jesus. Look at him. Talking about something. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> scared him. I'm pretty sure both of them motherfuckers, what, like the old lady and then the one behind her was not real. They just looked real to him. Because how the hell do you, how you a bus driver and you don't know everybody who's all on the bus? That's, I'm, I'm just saying like that doesn't make any sense. You know, so they, them bitches cannot be real. Um, and I feel like she was, I feel like she was kind of, she was, she was up to no good too. I feel like she was kind of like, she was, yeah, she was kind of, she was, she was feeling herself that night because it looked like she had some intentions on, on doing some clucking. Um, but hey, it's on her. Maybe she got a ghost stick or something. I don't know. Um, but you know the thing about. And going to like abandoned places or like haunted places with a group is that you always got that one person that like when something pop off, I'm out. Like I don't. Hey, that's me all the way. I'm not sticking around for nobody. I'm not sticking. Around. It's still love, but I'm not. I'm. St I'm not sticking around for nobody. I'm not sticking around for nothing. If you drop something, clock it. You can get. You can get whatever the hell you drop. You can get that again. Like, you can, but you can just buy it. But you can't get another life. You feel me? Like, you. Y'all uh, gonna go in. I ain't, I ain't going in. I'm sitting right in this. You gonna be. What up, what up, what up, what did I say a while ago? I was like, the safe zone, mm -hmm. the clock zone, and the clock clock zone. Was that it or was there more to it? I think it was and it. Then, yeah. Yeah. I wanna be. Yeah. Me and, uh, me and old girl. You right there? Mm-hmm. We're gonna be on the safe zone. Just saying. But yeah, nah, that the band that 
the abandoned places and haunted places that that's that's not for, that's not for everybody. It really isn't. And the YouTube channels that be doing stuff like that. Best of luck to you. You know, maybe y'all doing that for views. Maybe y'all doing it for for entertainment purposes. But at what cost, though? Because sooner or later you will get clucked, and you're going. That's going to be it. I'm saying. So, there it is. You heard it here first from me. And why you looking at me like that? Like, what's up? Why you, you look at me like you on, you on, yeah. Dead ass. This is how she was looking at me. She, she, she doing it right now. She's looking at me like that. Hey, what's up? Nah, but I'm done. I'm done. Um, if, if y'all want to go ahead and explore these abandoned places and these haunted houses, go right ahead. Just leave me the hell out of it. Just all I'm saying. Keep it cool. Keep it classy and I love you. Stay happy. My family. So I think from now on, I'm gonna start saying uh, um, jumps. Like I'm gonna start saying like you get you got your jumps before the reaction. So the jumps mean you got your snacks, you got your cuddle buddy, you got your Adidas. That means you got your jumps. That's what that means. You know. So when I say that, you know what that means. If you don't know what that means. Please let me, please let somebody who's confused down in the comment section, let them know. And then I'll reiterate, wait, did I say that? I feel like I fucked cl that up. I'll say that, like I'll reiterate what that means. I think I said that in the right context. I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, Every so often, but let's get it. You got your jumps? There it is. Got mines. Come on. You're all right. God damn. Mm. What? You say you're just gonna be the voice and you don't gotta whisper no more. Fine. So? No. I, oh, that was so adorable and like kind of cute. I don't, what? What happened? She forgot something? She didn't write anything right. You don't like that? No. That bitch. What? See, now I gotta cluck somebody up. What's your name? Ashley? Jasmine. Why wow, I log so off? What did you want? Mashed potatoes. Perfect. Why you don't like my bitch's Because I wanted mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch that chicken be crunchy as that. What? And she ain't giving no honey. Damn! Now I don't feel comfortable doing the reaction though. 